you know, I'm just, I'm happy for our guys. Obviously a quick turnaround for us after a, you know, a, I don't know what, they, they kicked our butt Saturday and Baylor's really, really good. I think a little bit, uh, a little loss of confidence uh, from that. You know, you have high hopes and then they're, they just totally take you out of the game. So yesterday I, I saw a lot of long faces when we got here. I, I just said, guys, I, I, I'm not going to, if you're going to be sad, I'm not going to let you be sad. And um, you got to have life. You got to have energy and you got to prepare and understand that there's another game. You got to know, we got to be ready for Jacksonville. They they have some guys that can make some plays. Um, We got to, we got to be able to understand too. Every game is different, how people guard. um, And we got to adjust to that. And I thought we weren't great at the beginning. We, we guarded pretty well. Um, we, we turned it over too many times early, but then we got going. Obviously, it's good to get uh, Nigel on track again uh, where he's making some shots. And then Dejuan, uh I told him yesterday, be the best Dejuan Gordon. And, you know, he has a double-double, 13 points, 12 rebounds. Uh, obviously, the only thing is the assists. And then he laid, led us on our play hard chart and at 14. So we were much more active on defense. We were better on defense. But, you know, some of it, too, they, they, we had a tough turnaround, but they had a tougher one playing Miami about the same time we played Baylor. They got to get on a plane. They got to get on a bus. And, uh, you know, we thought we could break their spirit a little bit, and we were able to do that. Um, I thought, great job, uh, the coaches with the scouting report and the players uh, listening and, and then going and executing it. Uh, James is a really, really talented player, averaging 20 points a game. And we did a lot of switching. We fought him in the post. We frustrated him. We doubled him. And he only has two points. And one of those is late, or the bucket he got was late. And, uh, you know, four turnovers. So, uh, you know, good, some good things. We made some progress. Uh, obviously, you got a, some time. They're going home. And then the 29th, come back and play Omaha. And then, then you're into the league. So, uh, hope they can get a chance to go home and enjoy their families. I really hope they stay stay COVID free and come back and and we can, you know, continue to make some progress as a group. I'm not sure if he said me or not, but I'll go you ahead. Can, you can go um, ahead. Okay. Um, Bruce, Dijuan didn't have a single double-double all last year. He's got two already. What, what's changed there? Well, I, I just, uh, yeah, you're older, uh, more experienced, understanding who he is, um, you know, just, just playing hard. I, I was really happy for him. Uh, he's been a sad puppy because he has worked on his, on his shot. Uh, he hasn't made, you know, he hasn't made shots, and, and he knows it. Um, yesterday when we did a little – uh, practice, in practice, the scout squad, uh, they, they were giving him heck and not guarding him, and he was still missing. And, uh, but I, I, I was happy he got to make some shots. But, I, again, I told him, whether you make shots or not, you can help our team because what you do and how hard you play, um, you know, you're successful. And you look at the plus minus, he's plus 26. So when he's in the game, he's, he's making a big difference. And it doesn't always have to be with scoring, but – a little, you know, a little better understanding of what what the game's about. Uh, hopefully, a little stronger, and uh, you know, doing what he does, and that's that's what that's how he became Chicago Player of the Year. It wasn't because he hit pull up jumpers or this or that. He he just out toughed everyone, out played everybody, and and he was very very active today. Would you say you're happier with the defense or the assist numbers you guys? Well, that was I didn't bring that up, but 23 assists on 27 field goals. That's you know that's phenomenal. Once we got the ball moving um, side to side, I think we broke them down. We were able to get easy shots. Uh, I thought we missed some wide open ones. Second half, obviously Carlton missed a dunk. We missed some other layups. Could even been better, but uh, you know I we made some. Strides on defense. Uh, I thought we were in gaps. We turned them over, uh, kept the ball in, out of the paint. And, uh, you know, they're, they're a pretty good three-point shooting team, and, and we, we made it tough on them to get some easy ones. Uh, 
but at the, you know I'm always happy when guys pass the basketball and and it leads to assists and you know still the, the turnover is just too many and it just it just forced action too much and some of it we had a lead and some guys had some careless ones but we had some early too where we just got to be a little more patient and let the game come all right thanks Bruce I hope you have a Merry Christmas you too thank you Oh, now we can hear you. Hey, Bruce. I mean, it seemed like you guys were really pounding the glass today, and a lot of those rebounds led you guys to get out on the offensive end. What did you see from your guys' effort in attacking the glass? One of the things Coach Lowry said was the key to the, to the game was limit them to one shot, one shot possessions. And – he said he thought we could get them in transition. We got some some fast break points, some you know stuff off of uh, you know some turnovers, and that uh, led to some easy baskets. Now you make a couple threes, and now you have a nice run, a 13 point run in the, in the first half, which kind of got that lead ex expanded. Uh, but it, it the rebounding was was key. Keep the ball in front. Uh, they had zero second chance points at halftime. Uh, they ended up with four, but we thought that was an important part of the game. Nigel, obviously, he's coming off a bit of a rough game against Baylor, but bounces back well today. What would you like from him? Well, you know, I, I actually called him after the game on, on Saturday because I, I really saw he was hanging his head, and I, I just said, Nigel, a really good player. And we just played against – we played against guys that are got – they're going to be NBA players right now, but they weren't that way. Uh, we were talking, you know, when Jared Butler was a freshman here, uh, we had our way with him. You know, now he comes back three years later and he's 13 assists. So um, it, 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 it's part of the development. And I stayed with him a little bit today and shot with him, uh, just, you know, hoping to get a little more confidence and stroke. And, I mean, that's that's pretty productive game. Six for nine, four for six, six rebounds, five assists, one turnover, two steals. Uh that's that's nice numbers for anyone, and when you consider he's a freshman, uh, it's even more more impressive. Thanks, Bruce. the first half was that part of the game plan or is it just kind of a matter of you know Jacksonville leaving you guys open well uh, a little I hope a little bit of uh, both um, you know again getting the ball moving side to side uh, creating uh, easy looks for teammates we thought they'd get lost if we if we got screening action got movement early I ran some sets they took those away and then uh, we we got going a little motion and when they went zone uh, yesterday our whole time was being ready for the zone when we when we did any offense and we really talked about getting it side to side getting cutting action and we got some some pretty easy looks and and you know obviously you got to make them and and we made them now you spread the defense and you're able to get some uh you know hopefully some easier hoops around the basket so uh I you know I I'm not never tell you we we are going to shoot that many threes but um you know, we thought if we moved them, we could get open looks. Thank you. Hey, Coach. Um, so the stat came out after the game that you guys have more dunks this season, or you at least tied the dunks this season you had last season. So how promising is that for this young group? Well, I, I didn't know that stat, but uh, you know, it, it's it it's good, I guess, that we're getting to the getting to the basket. We're getting we're making the pass, the right pass to create those. A lot of those dunks come come off of passes, and and we haven't Mike McGurl. Uh, you know, I I wouldn't say he played perfect, but you know, to have 12 points, uh, go three for six from three, seven assists, two turnovers. Um, you know, he came off a tough tough game the other day and he want you know he's really again I, I don't want to say lost confidence but just disappointed and um, you know we talked to him coach Southwell talked to him I talked to him you know just let the game come and you know you, those the games before that Baylor game I don't I can't remember assists because the game was they just kicked our butt I didn't look too much at it but 
I know those two games before that he was 11 to two, so now you had seven more. So 18 to four assist turnovers, and you know, he, doing that as kind of a off guard, a combo guard. Um, obviously, that that means he's making some strides and and reading the defense and making the right plays. Well, he's very, very active. You can see he's got an active stat, stat line, uh, six points, and you know, three for three. He's got five rebounds, uh, but the activity too is the turnovers, and uh, you know, three turnovers in that eight that eight minutes. That that's too much, and some of it he's just got to learn. You know, we run a play; it's not for him; it's for the other people, and then he plays off of it. But um, you know, he gives us some bounce. He gives us some athleticism. Uh, I thought I was happy for Carlton. Uh, you know, he, he got in. Uh, you know, we went with Surrey early because they were small. Uh, and then Carlton gave us a couple good looks. So, uh, you know, and then you get Casey back hopefully in a couple weeks. It, it gives us some depth depth as we move forward at that big man spot. Appreciate it, Coach. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Going back to days one, how good was it to see the ball go through the net from three-point range? Like I said, I I, I kind of joked a couple weeks ago. Every time he shoots, I say a prayer uh, for him. And, um, you know, it's a young man that's worked very hard. Uh, I had his shot. It's still he, – he, he had to kind of uh, – it, it, he's still going through steps with the shot. Um, it, it's not real – it's still not fluid. And then when you start missing, now you start aiming. But it, it – you know, it was good for him to have that happen. And because he's, he's, the problem is I keep telling him, don't try tough ones. Shoot the wide open ones. I'm happy with those. And if, if those, you know, you're, if you miss those, nothing you can do about it. You just got to get in the gym and work at it. And, but I, I think for him, uh, you know, to, to make a few, it's, it's really, a, he worries. He's such a good kid. He has such a big heart. He wants to do well. Um, and and it's just I, I hope he feels better about himself, and but he's still got to do. We beat Iowa State. We beat these guys because Days One was so active and did all those other things, and that's what he's got to continue to give us. Now that was my next question. How much of it is a sign of maturity for him that he's not letting his shooting problems define his game? He's finding other ways to help the team. And that's what I, I would tell you early. Uh, those games we lost, I think it did define him and. And I, I, there's an old saying, don't let what you can't do hurt what you can do. And, and you know, that, that, I think he was doing that. And I, I thought Iowa State was a big step forward that he just, hey, I'm, going, I'm coming to play. I'm just going to play my butt off, do what I do. And if, you know, I get some shots, I get some shots. And so hopefully a little confidence builder today for him. 